here, joined by the University of Louisiana head volleyball coach. It's Christy Gray. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here. When, when you talk about volleyball in college, it, it's, it's intense. It's, it's exciting to watch. If you ever had a chance to go to a game, it's very intense, exciting. A lot of action happens fast. It is. It's, it's, it reminds me a little bit of basketball in that regard because basketball is the same way. A lot of action quick. Um, you're entering your third year as the head coach. Can you talk a little bit about uh, kind of uh, the bumps that you don't have to go through now as it as you enter year three? Right. Year three is a little bit different. You know, standards are a little bit higher. Expectations are higher. At least for myself, you know, we our goal is to go win championships. And so we've kind of worked through some things the first couple of years with just managing a roster. And we do have high expectations for this year. We have nine girls returning who were key players for us on our roster last year. We had all conference players and we have nine um, transfers and freshmen coming in between the two and they're that are going to be key for us. Yeah, and so I, I just did a kind of doing a little research to learn some names and stuff. Uh, it seems like the middle blockers are, are, are where you have some experience. We do. We are very middle and opposite heavy. So the right side, uh, we're very deep in those two positions, which for us, we're a middle heavy offense. We like to run that part of the court. Um, and so that's what I, I'm very excited about that because that's where our experience is. I, can't, I keep reading about your style and I, I, I've watched, <laughs> I haven't watched the whole, a, a whole match, but I have been able to kind of watch highlights right? eh, because that's what we shoot. A couple of highlights and hurry up and get back for the for the newscast but um it, it's fast pay, from what from what uh, i'm reading about you is it's uh, you have a super uh, fast kind of men mentality right. can you explain uh, where that comes from what what's the what's the goal uh to in that theory yeah um, so it's a couple things we're very high energy and we want to want to run a fast offense it's very hard to stop um, on the defensive side of things. The, the block goes into it, and if you can beat the block um, against a weaker defense, then you're more likely to be successful. But within that, we preach ball control um, and defense. Defense is our number one in our program. And if we are good with defense and ball control, then we can go in because we have the offensive arms. Nice. And so I guess as, as – you know, you you talked about it being year three and, and kind of things kind of smooth out a little bit. Does that go for practice in the summer as well? I mean, does that is it kind of like football where, where in fo during the off season you, you're still always preparing, always kind of making sure the girls are, you know, doing what they need to do to stay on the court when it's time to be on the court? Yes and no. So spring, yes. Um, and we're actually different from football and basketball. We don't have summer access. So oh, okay. if our girls, they come in, which we do report in July, they take summer classes and they can voluntarily work out gotcha. with our strength coach and then get in the gym if they want. But as a staff, we have zero access to our team. Uh, gotcha. And so it's important for them to kind of be self-motivated then. It is, which I think they understand that. You know, we yeah. have a good group returning and they know the expectations that they have on themselves and the goals that they have. And so they, they want to get in the gym and get better. Yeah, and that, that's that's huge for a coach because if you have that, uh, then it's a, it's a little less weight on your shoulders, right. and it's more, hey, you're accountable for your team. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and when you when you talk about Cajun uh, volleyball history, I, I think uh, it, it was kind of reminds me a little bit of women's basketball when I first got here. Uh, they hadn't really had uh, success in the postseason. They, a couple of good teams, a couple of great players uh, that that have been able to come through the the halls uh, over OK Long actually. Right. And, uh, and but but there's a new standard that you're trying to implement. And, and and you guys did something special last year, just trying to build on that this year, I assume. Yes. So we actually sat down and did some team goals last night and the NCAA postseason is one of our team goals. And I think there's a lot that plays into that. You know, we were trying to figure things out the first couple of years and really get in our student athletes that fits our vision and our um, expectations for the program. And we're starting to get that. But also with our style of play, like I think fans enjoy seeing that. It's the high energy. It's I said it in a recruiting video. Our inner or our atmosphere is unmatched. 
It's loud. We have a DJ. I mean, <laughs> it's a great environment. If you haven't had the chance to come out, I mean, our games are free. So it's yeah. something that, I mean, it doesn't even cost to come to. But I think everything plays into it to where we are, we are starting to get the recruits that we really want in this program. They see that we've renovated our facility and yeah. invested so much in that. And it's just little things that is going to help us just over the next few years. You, you talk about the facility, Earl K. Long Gym. It's a historic gym, but uh, for basketball, it's a little small. For volleyball, it seems like it's perfect. Oh, it, it's perfect. It yeah. is. I say that, but last year we said <laughs> it's, it's perfect it's, for now. <laughs> it's perfect for now. It is. So when I first got here and saw this space, it's it's a lot of space. It just, you know, needed some love. That's yeah. what we said. Right. And we got that. And... Again, I think fans were excited about our style of play and who we are. Uh, and so last year we set a single season attendance record. And another goal for us this year as a staff is to break that again. And so I'm hoping at some point, you know, we can bring in bleachers or do something to where it is too small for us essentially. But right now it's perfect. We it, fill the stands and it's fun. Yeah, it, 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 volleyball is a lot of fun. I, there's no doubt about it. Watching it, 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 it the, the intensity level uh, – hits and hits peak highs and man you have to have you know you got to be steady right have a steady hand when it comes to crunch time you do and actually that's it's funny you said that with this team is the most composed team that I've ever coached um, as a whole I would say probably 15 of our uh, 17 players are just very even kill composed so it's fun we've we're only three days into practice right now but to <laughs> right. sit back and watch it's it's fun to watch as a coach and know, like, they're not going to get too high. They're not going to get too low. Coach, don't go anywhere. We're going to come back. We'll have much more with Coach Christy Gray, UL Volleyball head coach, when we return right here on Inside Cajun Nation. We're back in 90 seconds. <laughs> 